Hey, hey, Epic. Um, I'm going to read to you today a book called In a Dark, Dark Room and Other Scary Stories. Now, I want to preface this read aloud by saying that some people really love scary stories and some people don't love scary stories as much. If you were in that second group, and you find that you don't enjoy scary or spooky stories, you do not need to listen to this read aloud. It is in no way requirement. It's just a fun book that I really enjoyed when I was about your age, um, that you have the option of listening to. Um, if it starts to get too scary, don't feel like you need to finish it. They're just fun, Fictional stories, remember what fictional means? It means they are not real. Fiction equals fake, right? So we can read these fictional spooky stories um, while remembering that it's all fake and that it's all just for fun. So that being said, let's jump in. I love the illustrations in this book as well. The table of contents. Forward. Most of us like scary stories because we like feeling scared. When there is no real danger, Feeling scared is fun, and the best time to read these stories is at night, in front of a fire or in the dark. Tell them slowly and quietly, and everyone will have a good time. I'm gonna use myself here so you can enjoy all of the cool illustrations. the teeth. I was here, I was hurrying home in the dark when I saw a man walking toward me. Do you know what time it is? I asked. The man lit a match to look at his watch. It's eight o'clock, he said. Then he grinned at me. His teeth were three inches long. When I saw them, I ran. Soon I came to another man. Why are you running? The man asked. I just met a man with teeth this long. It's, I said, it scared me. My teeth are longer than that, said the man, and he grinned at me. When I saw his teeth, I ran. Soon, I came to another man. Why are you running? He asked me. I just saw a man with teeth this long, I said. That's nothing, said the man. Did you, believe, did you ever see teeth this long? I took one look. I ran all the way home. The story is called In the Graveyard. A woman in a graveyard sat very short and very fat. She saw three corpses carried in, very tall and very thin. To the corpses, the woman said, Will I be like you when I am dead? Mm. To the woman, the corpses said, You will be like us when you are dead. Mm. To the corpses, the woman said, Ah! 
one is my favorite story from the book. It's called The Green Ribbon. Once there was a girl named Jenny. She was like all the other girls, except for one thing. She always wore a green ribbon around her neck. There was a boy named Alfred in her class. Alfred liked Jenny, and Jenny liked Alfred. One day, he asked her, why do you wear that ribbon all the time? I cannot tell you, said Jenny. But Alfred kept asking, why do you wear it? And Jenny would say, it's not important. Jenny and Alfred grew up and fell in love. And one day they got married. After their wedding, Alfred said, now that we are married, you must tell me about the green ribbon. You still must wait, said Jenny. I will tell you when the right time comes. Years passed. Alfred and Jenny grew old. One day, Jenny became very sick. The doctor told her she was dying. And Jenny called Alfred to her side. Alfred, she said, now I can tell you about the green ribbon. Untie it and you will see why I could not tell you before. Slowly and carefully, Alfred untied the ribbon. And Jenny's head fell off. In a dark, dark room. In a dark, dark wood, there was a dark, dark house. And in that dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark room. And in that dark, dark room, there was a dark, dark chest. And in that dark, dark chest, there was a dark, dark shelf. And on that dark, dark shelf, there was a dark, dark box. And in that dark, dark box, there was a ghost. <laughs> I had a creepy head. The story is called The Night It Rained. It was late at night. I was driving past the cemetery when I saw a boy standing in the rain. Do you want to ride home? I asked. Yes, please, he said. I live on Front Street next to the school. I handed him my old sweater. It's cold tonight, I said, and you are wet. You had better put this on. After that, we did not talk. When we stopped at his house, I said, keep the sweater. I will get it tomorrow. What's your name? Jim, he said, thanks for the ride. I stopped for the sweater the next day. A woman came to the door. Is Jim home? I asked. I have come to pick up my sweater. She looked at me in a strange way. It must have been another boy, she said. Jim is our son, but he has been dead for almost a year. He is buried in the cemetery. I told her how sorry I was, and I left. She did not know what to think. The next morning, I went to the cemetery. I wanted to see Jim's grave. Lying across the grave was my sweater. How do you think the sweater got in the grave? Hmm. The pirate. <clears throat> Ruth was spending her vacation with her cousin Susan. A pirate once lived in our house, 
he was told Ruth. He died in the room where you are staying. His ghost is supposed to haunt that room, but we have never seen it. I don't believe in ghosts, said Ruth. But the thought of a pirate haunting her room scared her a little. Before she got into bed that night, Ruth looked everywhere. She looked under the bed and under the rug, in the closet, and in the drawers, and behind the dresser, and behind the curtains. And anywhere else a ghost might hide, but she did not find a thing. Ruth yawned and stretched and got into bed. She turned off the light and snuggled under the covers. Just as I thought, she said to herself, there was no one in this room but me. And then a big voice said, and me! How do you think she's feeling right now? Based off her facial expressions. The Ghost of John. Have you seen the Ghost of John? Long white bones and flesh all gone. Ooh, wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? Here's a little background of where those stories came from. It says the teeth is based on the story from Thurnum, collected from in the 1920s. Um, the graveyard is a short version of the traditional song, Old Woman All Skin and Bone. The green ribbon is based on a European folk motif in which a red thread is worn around a person's neck. The thread marks the place where the head was cut off and reattached. In a dark, dark room is well known in England and America. The Night It Rained is based off variants of the widespread folk tale, The Ghostly Hitchhiker. And The Pirate is based on a reference in a dictionary of British folk tales in the English language. The Ghost of John was collected in, by the computer um, in 1979. All right, cool. Well, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed those as much as I did.